Okay, so here we are at the Arundel Antique Village. We are about to go inside and see some wonderful glass. And uh, it's beautiful and cool in here. And you are going to love the glass that you are going to see. Here's young Mariah. Say hi, hi to the- Hi, Philip. Hi, Welcome Mariah. Welcome to Arundel Antiques, everyone. Thank you. How you doing today? Good. Beautiful. Enjoy. Thanks. We're going to see some beautiful glass and we're real excited. So let's check out these cases filled with a beautiful array of jewelry. I'm not seeing much glass in this first one, but here we go. And some QB. Okay, now this is sports. Oh, here we're getting some glass here. Look at those beautiful perfume bottles there. Figural green and pink, beautiful crystal. Back there's decanters. Oh, what a wonderful. I'm just gonna let you feast your eyes on this as we come down. There we go. It's around some individual salt cellars there. They're beautiful, very nice. How about that etched sherbet's there? with the amber feet and the clear tops going down. Yes, very nice. Okay, let's move along. And uh, what are we seeing? There's a great, beautiful old milk bottle there. What do we have here? What's an old ginger ale bottle? Look at that one. Oh, Cape Cod beverages. We're hitting a lot of bottles here. They're very nice. <clears throat> There's an old oil bottle. All American. Yes, indeed. Okay, look at this. Well, ladies, if you have to bring your husbands here and they're into cars, this would be a wonderful place for them to hang out while you're checking out the glass. Oh, look at these cute little banks here. There they are, that's a little figural piggy one there. It's $12 from the dime store and there's the Liberty Bell there. That's $12 also. Here's a beautiful piece of loop and dart there. It's a buttermilk goblet. It is $14. Here's another huge, beautiful. This one is called Frosted Leaf and Arch. There it is. There's another one, that goblet there. What's this goblet called? This one's called, oh, I don't know what that one's called. But anyway, let's just have a Look, that looks like a figure of elephant there, and that looks like a piece of McDonald's. Some beautiful cruets there. It's skew off. Oh, that is the angel. Let's take a look at this. Oh, it's $12. Look at this beautiful piece. Oh, yes. Very nice. And let's see what that says. There it is. Very nice. And check this out. This is a wreathed cherry covered butter dish. I believe that that actually was made by LG Wright. It's not an original, but it is very nice. Moving down is another beautiful Buttermilk goblet, $12. It's a nice footed carnival glass. Some wild flowers there, let's say. Carnival scalloped berry dish. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, this looks like an old piece of uh, Sandwich glass, pitcher, footed pitcher with an applied handle there. 
those applied handles there. Before 1870, remember, those handles were all applied top to bottom. So this piece is before about 1870 and after 1870, the handles were attached at the bottom. Here is a cut log crew it. It's very nice there. Beautiful with a looks like it's original stopper. It's only $12. There's a pair of Westmoreland single candle holders, milk glass back there. And there is a cherry and cable creamer there. Very nice. It's $35. <clears throat> How about that picture right there? It's called Feathered, what's it called? F feather Pattern, there it is. Beautiful 64 ounce gallon pitcher for $18. A Couple of little bears there and some swans, hearts, grapes. Oh, and look at the enameled, covered, footed candy dish there. Only $14, how beautiful is that? Moving round here, look at this piece of beautiful Fenton Carnival glass. Marigold, dragon and lotus bowl. Very nice, look at that. Let's turn that over, see what's on the bottom. Yes, very nice. Check out the set of cordials there. They're also very nice. And moving along, oh, it's a nice cake plate here. I don't know if you can see the etch. It is a rose point there. There it is. We can also <clears throat> see the petaled edge there. Just a little bit of wear here and four feet. Very, very nice. Yes, moving along. Here's some uh, cream soup bowls, depression, royal lace, hazel atlas, very nice in that cobalt blue. They're $28 each. And also, here is a modern tone, also hazel atlas, and they're $12 each. They're very, very nice. Moving around, can we see, check out this picture here, Admiral Dewey Water Picture. And there it is, there's the Admiral himself. There's the crossed cannons there under the, uh, the lip and the ship, the Olympia there. Cannonballs around the bottom, crossed, uh, rifles there. You can see that uh, hint of a lean there. That is common with older glass. Look over here at this beautiful little creamer. It is from the Delaware pattern. This is saying here, Delaware creamer with gold trim, $16. It is of course U.S. Glass Corporation. I can't remember the number, but that's it. Moving around here, here's a cute little mixing bowl here. It's only $16. It has a green ivy design. Let's turn it over. It has a hazel atlas mark on the bottom. Look at that old caster set there. Turn it around so that you can uh, see that. I don't know very much about it. Victorian, silver, can't read there. Two cordial glasses, it's $65. It's very nice, but I don't know very much about it. Let's see what else we're looking at here. Here's a pattern glass footed celery vase there with a Georgian design. And check out this 1939 New York World's Fair 1940 P 
peace and freedom. Yeah, that was about to end. I had to put the kibosh on that idea. Uh, but this is a beautiful item. It is, of course, an ice bucket. Looking over here, tucked in back there is a Fostoria American covered butter dish. Very, very nice. And up here, we have <coughs> Imperial Cape Cod pitcher with an eye slip there. It's $40. Lots of beautiful American dinnerware on this stall here. There's Daisy, Daffy's girlfriend, looking a little coy. There she is, only $15. Oh, it's a, it's a Pepsi Cola from the Pepsi Collector Series. It's very nice. Who made this? It has an anchor hocking sign on the bottom. Very nice. Okay, moving right along. This is the bottom of a mixing uh, handled mixer. This is the glass bottom there, Hazel Atlas, and their typical cobalt blue. Let's take a better look at the design there. Sort of windswept windmills. Dirty little seagulls and everything. Down here, oh, let's check out this. This looks to be a beautiful piece of radiance, new Martinsville, yeah. Three-footed ruby red bowl. Here is Fostoria American pitcher with the eye slip. It's also footed. And back here is hibiscus bowl. That's huge. I bet that's a 12 inch center console bowl with the hibiscus design on it. How nice is that? Moving around, check out these little goblets. They are uh, flint glassware. They're $2 each. They're very nice. I'm not even showing them to you. There it is. There's a general store glass display there. I'll pull back so that you can see it. And up here, a couple of old whale oil lamps. Very, very nice, very nice. Here's a slightly more modern picture. Floral crinkle picture. Yes, I think that pattern is called something else. Uh, it's very nice. Here's an old rice shaker, green Ahusia canister. It's very, very nice. What do we have here? Three pieces MCM Viking glass console set. Okay, check those out. They are obviously candle holders right there. Yes, and there it is. Let's bring them down so that we can see them. Mid-century, modern design, long, sweeping, flowing lines. That tall picture there we see with the exaggerated, impractical spout. Beautiful set there for $200. There's some tumblers and some goblets there. Culver vine glass. Four striped bar glasses. Here's a cute little jadeite vase. Very nice. And an Ovid creamer and sugar. Very nice. I like those guys. I'd love to have those in my collection. Oh, look at this. It's a depression glass. Anchor Hawkin. Manhattan pattern martini glass. It's got Art Deco written all over it. Moving down, here is Iris and Herringbone. It's a little carnival glass covered butter dish. And hiding back here, we have Royal Ruby Sherbet there and the creamer. Each of those are five dollars. They're sitting there 
behind Lady Liberty. There's another one that's been made into a lamp. Very nice. Let's turn around and check out this beautiful cup and saucer here. This is the Alice pattern on jadeite. A short line with a beautiful floral garland and ribs. There's the cup and there's the saucer. Notice the wonderful anchor hocking handle for easy access. And as we move around here, somebody set up a beautiful black light here so that you're able to see the uranium glowing in your glass. Those sections there are from an insert set. And those grill plates there, Dyna grill plates, three sections there, very nice. And they're only $12.50 each. That's a steal. Yeah, and there's a rope. Creamer and sugar, they're glowing, $22, very nice. The little center handle tray there for your condiments. With a heart-shaped handle, I'm not sure who made that. There's a little uranium. This is uh, part of a set of four that you would uh, stand your furniture on. There's a uranium tumbler sitting back there. And there's a piece, a pair of tall these look like indiana yes indiana sandwich yeah very nice let's move around and see what else is on offer here oh, check out these pictures beautiful green one there coming down pink and amber green crackle punties this has the uh Oh, Mount Vernon pattern there. I don't know if they're vases. Yes, they look like vases. They don't look like they uh, have ever had a stopper in them. Some beautiful English china here. Cups and saucers and pitchers. Oh, looky up here. There's an old piece of American glass. This looks like clear Gontman pattern, ruffled hobnail rectangle dish. There it is. Change hands here, as the actress said to the bishop. Yeah, it's very nice, and it's only $18. Let's pop it up there and move down here. Hey, check out these tumblers. Dots and bows, red, white, and blue. Could they be any more patriotic? Here's <clears throat> um, <clears throat> a little Pyrex print. Refrigerator covered bowl. And some Hazel Atlas dot cups and saucers. Very nice. This is Macbeth Evans here, the creamer and the sugar. Yes, they're pink depression. Seen those before, haven't we? Moving around. Check that out. It's very nice. Lotus shape. And here we have Fostoria olive green coin glass pitcher. Very, very nice. That's a little later from the 1970s. Still very nice. What else? Oh, and check that out. Pink lace edge grill plate anchor hocking. And speaking of anchor hocking, we have a couple of moonstone bowls there. This one's divided. And that larger one there is the center console bowl with the ruffled edge. Very nice. Moving down here. Oh, check out this beautiful vase. How nice is this? With the alternative vertical pleated design. Looked like beaded buttons there. And a sunburst in the well. Over here is a beautiful pink frosted footed bowl there. And what else do we have around? There's a couple of old milk bottles right there and a piece of a, a 
I verify a king. Okay, here's a center handle serving plate. It's very nice. It's etched in $15. Check out the design. Somebody put a lot of work into that. Indeed. And here's a hair collector. It's in amber glass, hair holder. Pull the hair out of your brush and you poke it in the hole. And then when you've got a big load of your hair, you mop it up and uh, put it in with, with hairdo. Check out these Fenton shoes. How nice are they in various colors? There appears to be a new dealer here and some beautiful Fenton baskets. I'm going to pull this one out so that you can see the one behind it. Yes, how nice is that? Put this blue one back. Then this one here enables us to see the one behind. Oh yes, yeah, somebody here has a beautiful collection of Fenton baskets and bells and shoes. Oh, it's all very nice. Look at the size of that trumpet vase there. Very nice. Moving around, that's very nice there. Looks to be Westmoreland milk glass, a swan vase, some Fire King small swirl bowls. They're very nice, yes, and only five dollars each. And these here, beautiful. All those splash. Check out this little poodle guy. He's a covered powder dish. Yes, and here's a wonderful selection of Fostoria American. I'm just gonna run the camera over it and let you check it out. Behind that singer sewing machine, there are plates there and dinner plates. There's baskets and bowls, footed, vases, pitchers, it's quite the collection. Very nice and moving around, we come up against some coin boxes. How very nice are they? All figural, there's Snoopy, there's a log cabin, there's an owl, a bear, there's a carnival pig there. Moving down, there's a blue bank there's a Spartan there, Mr. Peanut, and then this, these bells here. These are dime store banks. There's another one there. There's a bear shaped one. And look at this collection of Fenton, Daisy, and Button canoes in various sizes and in different colors. Shades of green and amber, white and blue. Over here, collection of six. Tony the Tiger, these are Fire King mugs. They're 20, hang the $24, oh, it's number 24, they're $12 each. Yes, I was just getting conflicting information. It's very, very nice stepping back. That's quite nice. Check that out, everybody. It sits nice on that black surface. Okay, moving around. You want to be famous? Move to the camera. There go. Little silver overlay bowl there. Check out the uh, candle holder there. Candle wick, $45 for the pair. How nice are they? There's a Fenton Carnival plate. Let's move around and see what else we see. Check out these beautiful old flint glass lamps. They truly are beautiful. Turn them around, they're all in clear. Various <coughs> pressed patterns. Very nice and reasonably priced. 22, 18, 25, 15. Wow. Here's another beautiful look at this swan. 
This is a new Martinsville Viking Swan. It's only $15. Check out also this great looking perfume bottle. I'm stabbing it behind my ears. You can't see it's off camera. There it is. Very nice. A couple of beautiful old tumblers there. And there is a nice piece of sandwich glass. That looks to be Duncan and Miller. And there's a very nice green opalescent footed bowl. Yes, indeed. Check that out. Here's milk glass. This is Rachel anchor hocking one of the lesser known sets. This looks to be, well, it probably is not gonna be marked. I know it's Rachel because I have a matching bowl in ruby red. And uh, these amber lamp chimneys, they're also anchor hawking. Sereno is the pattern. And down here, we have some candle holders there. I'm seeing three iris and herring bones. This one here is imperial. This one here is anchor hawking, early American press cut. They're all double and they're all clear. Very nice. We're moving around. And we're seeing what else we have. Oh, check out this beautiful piece of Fenton, stippled rays there. It's very nice. The rim has been crimped and it's in a beautiful forest green. Oh, I love it. And it's only $10. And here is a centennial goblet from America's birthday in, oh no, this one's a reproduction. There, the reproductions have 1976. It should say 1876 if it's an original. And it says 1976, because it was still nearly 50 years ago. But if you're looking for the originals, you're looking for the originals. Check out this beautiful Atterbury Bowl with the fern design on it. I absolutely love that opaque blue color. Are you getting this in the light? There, check that out. How many? One, it's only got a two part mold there. Oh, well, that's all good. Anyway, it's very nice. What else do we have here? Check out this little guy. He's cute. I'm not sure he's... Oh, he's Czech. I should have recognized his accent, shouldn't I? Okay, there's a piece of Fostoria's Baroque vase there. It's very nice. And cut log over here. I think this is a cut log mug. It's very nice. Yes. Indeed, it's got a small chip on it. You know, the older the glass is, the more you can expect it to, to actually have some significant wear and or damage. Um, you have to either learn to live with it or move on and, and collect something else because uh, it's the nature of the beast. Check out, here's Clarabelle here. Clarabelle the cow. This is a beautiful, what does it say? Dutyville Elephant squirts Clarabelle. There's Doody and oh there's it's Howdy Doody. We're in Doodyville. There we go. Yeah. Very nice. These guys are $15 each. How about that? There's some old food containers there. Courier and Ives design. Here's a piece of uh, Indiana, <clears throat> Normandy. I don't think Indiana made Normandy. I think it's a federal pattern, but I guess that's not a federal crime, is it? Uh, there we go, piece of Madrid there. And here's a few cute little tumblers. Look at that, very, very nice. There's some refrigerator containers. Some wonderful 
cobalt blue back there also. Yes, very nice couple of uh, opaque uh, souvenir pipes here. This one's of Biddeford. This one's of Norwich, Connecticut. Yes, these are fairly ubiquitous. I've seen these all over the place and uh, they uh, feature uh, any number of um, any number of different cities and towns. Okay, well, it appears <clears throat> that we're coming to the end of our time slot, so I am just going to give you a quick little whisk around here. I'm gonna say goodbye from Arundel Antiques, and we will see you again real soon. You take care, and I hope that you've been enjoying what we have been showing. This piece here is a piece of stars and bars. It has been frosted and overlaid with silver. This is an unusual piece for this line of dime store glass. It's only 475 and I may end up buying it. I'll talk to you later and I'll see you all soon. Take care.